All right, hello YouTube, this is Ryan, and in this video, I'm taking another look at MIDI actions in AutoPad 1.9. If you wanna get the basics of MIDI actions, go ahead and check out part one. This is part two, where I'm gonna be showing you how to use program change messages to control AutoPad, and also uh, CC messages or knobs on your controller to control some of AutoPad's like engine parameters so you can control the filter and the crossfade time on the fly. So let's get started. I've got my little USB-C to USB adapter and if you're on an older device or an iPhone you'll want the lightning version which people call the camera connection kit. And let's just get this thing connected up. All right, so since I want to show you how to use program change messages, I'm just going to switch my controller into program change mode. And I'm going to come down to the MIDI actions menu, which is here. Now, since this is the first time I've connected this controller, I need to go into inputs and I need to activate it. And now AutoPad's going to remember this controller for the next time I use it, so I won't have to activate it in the future. And I'm going to go into MIDI actions, and I'm going to talk about the setlist mode actions. We have four setlist mode actions, which are start setlist, stop setlist, advanced setlist, which is kind of an all-in-one control. So if you just want to cycle through your setlist really easily, maybe you have a controller that only has like a couple pedals on it. Uh, this is going to be what you want to use. But we can also play an arbitrary song. Now, I want these pads to control those actions, uh, but I don't necessarily know what program changes those are sending. So I'm going to just hit the MIDI Learn button, the MIDI Record, and then I'm just going to tap my pads. You notice it changes from note to program, and you notice it switched to zero there. So this is going to be Start Set List and we'll have this one be stop set list. And we'll have this one be advanced set list. And then for play song, that sets the lowest value that triggers that action. So if I set this pad to play a song, this will play the first song, this will play the second, this will play the third, and, and so on. And now let's set up the CC actions. So uh, I can basically, this slider is setting the, the CC value that we're listening for. And we can set our destination here just by tapping. So I've got several destinations. We have crossfade, the low pass filter, the high pass filter, the reverb amount, the pad pan, the pad volume, the click pan, and the click volume. Now, I'm just going to set that to crossfade, uh, but I don't really know what values these knobs are sending, so let me just hit record and move the first knob, and then hit record, move the second knob, and record and hit the third knob and the fourth knob. So now let's go out and we'll use these actions. So we have start set list, stop set list, advance set list. And then this is our first song, second song, third song, fourth song. Then we have crossfade, low pass, reverb, and pad volume. So if I scroll back up here and I move the crossfade knob, I can actually see that auto pad is responding to that. And same if I move the low pass knob. I've also got so reverb amount there. And I've got pad volume. And these are going to work no matter what mode I'm in. So if I remember, I'll try to demonstrate that in our set list. So the set list mode actions only work when we are in set list mode. And let's just go ahead and start our set list. Now you notice it doesn't actually play a song. It just puts the set list into performance mode. And then uh, let's use this as our first song. So let's do that. And our second song. Our 
third song, and our fourth song. And to stop our set list, let's use our stop button. And let me just show you the advanced set list action really quick. So the advanced action is gonna do it all in one and we can hit once to perform, hit a second time to play the first song, and then we can just go through them. And pressing again to stop it. And let me just demonstrate that the filter works. So I'm going to start the set list and play the second song. So this knob is going for the filter, and let's just bring that down. Really nice, really easy to control. And let's stop. So hopefully this video has helped you learn how to use the new MIDI actions in AutoCAD 1.9. These, these features are only on the iOS version right now. Uh, Android users, I haven't forgotten about you, um, but it's gonna take me some time to bring these features over to Android. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. If you wanna keep up with what I'm doing, I make other music apps for people and I'm kind of documenting my progress here on this channel. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and give me a subscribe and let me know how you're using AutoPad in the comments. It's really cool for me to see people using AutoPad all around the world. It's super humbling and it inspires me to keep making AutoPad better. And um, I try to read and respond to every comment and just hope you guys have a good rest of your day and keep making music. I'll see you.